coming up on ESPN. Coming up, week five of the NFL season. It's still early, true. But once the calendar turns to October, things start to get a little more interesting as the playoff races begin to take shape. We've got a good one for you next on ESPN. Browns, Steelers, next! And look at all the happy tailgaters as they get set to cheer for the hometown team. Hello, I'm Dan Stevens and welcome to Heinz Field. My pal Peter O'Keefe will be covering today's game with me. Peter, playing on the road can be an unfriendly environment to say the least. And it has been particularly unkind to these guys. Well, you said it, Dan. Have really had a rough go of it on the road so far this season. They're hoping they can turn their luck around in today's game. We'll see how it goes. And now let's go down to the coin toss. Heads. Phil Dawson kicking off for the Browns. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Dawson kicks it off to begin the game. Staley fields it all the way back at the two. a tackle, eventually pushed out of bounds at the 43. Uh, on me, on me. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He's put back a little by the length of this kick, but brother, he more than makes up for it with a huge run. You can't coach that. Steelers send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 43-yard line. Kreider goes in motion. Burris catches the hard throw and is well past the markers for a first down. Plaxico Burris chases down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. No easy First yard, Grandale. Ball at the 37. Down! Set! Motion, motion, motion. Blow, 56! Blow, 56! <laughs> Bettis gains Number three yards, and that carrier. will bring up second down. Number 56 with the tackle. Second down in the eye. Ball at the 34-yard line. Down. Interceptor. Interception. Drag down at the 42. Woo! <sighs> Dan, that was a beauty of an interception. Perfect read and jump on the ball. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Browns are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 42-yard line. Number 22, chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. Second and six. Ball at the Browns, 46 yards. This one will fall incomplete. And Bell shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. 
incomplete pass. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Third down. Six yards to go. Number 13. Rifles this one hard First over the middle, Brown. and... Number 13. Campbell's big time on this play, and it works. Makes it a little more exciting to watch, too. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been an interception. It's a real fine line. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Number 22 catches in the flat and is looking for room. Chase down at the 18. That will bring up first down. Number 22 catches this one easily with no one around to stop him. Where was the defense? Well, they were nowhere on this play, which... First and 10. Ball at the 18-yard line. Number 22 takes it for his second carry and heads up field. Touchdown! Yeah, baby, that was so sweet. Look at this guy go to town. This is a great run. What an athlete, Peter. A fantastic display. Hey, watch for this one to appear on SportsCenter later tonight. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's Bill always Dawson nice to, to have, Dan. And so far, he's got 38 Number yards three, and Holden. one touchdown. <laughs> now the point after, and the extra point is it's good. good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Dawson rockets this one deep. Staley downs this in the end zone for a touchback. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. That's good work out there, all right, man. All right, yeah. The Steelers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Tuman goes in motion. Randall L. didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Antoine Randall L. tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. It's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second down, one run down. Roethlisberger throws a bullet and it's pass tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Warren Holdman with the Warren Holdman knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Catches it in the flat, and he will Number be well 36. short of the marker. It'll be Number fourth down. With the tackle. Michael Lahan brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. And this is nothing but read and react, Peter, which is what all defenders are taught. Great concentration to nab one shifty runner. Stepping up and doing his job. Morgan Fair catches it at the 38. The Browns had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their 39-yard line. Number 22 chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. With the tackle. Second and five. Ball at the Browns, 43 yard line. Switch! Black 15! Switch! Black 15! Number 22 gets the call again and heads left. 
Finally down dropped down. at the 36. First down. Number 22 got some big yards off that last play with an unexpected spin move. Oh, he threw the defense off like he was performing a magic trick for a baby. They bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. And Peter, you had to figure that they'd be tough to bring down, and boy, he sure proved it. Yeah, I don't care how strong or big you are, it's still hard to slow down those kind of moves. Davis hauls in the pass and is well Brown. past the markers for a first down. Andre Davis faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. First, First down ten. with the tight end right. Number 13, brings it to the right side, eight and eight it's good for a gain of eight. Number 13, threaded the ball back there to his man, right past all that traffic. Good job. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great second play, and, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Number 22, gets the toss and runs into traffic. Mark Higgins was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. And I'll tell you what, this looks like it wasn't that difficult to tackle, but he had his hands full. Yeah, looks can be deceiving, Dan. He really had to square himself perfectly to make that play. Number 15, works this one to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Interception. Stopped Steven. at the 19. Kendrell Bell makes a great grab as he breaks up the play there. And he got a bunch afterward as well. Man, the grass doesn't grow under this guy's feet. <laughs> That's because it's off an artificial turf, Dan. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Steelers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 19-yard line. Bettis loses two, and that will bring up second down. Warwick Holdman was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Steelers, 17 yards. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Jerome Bettis set up for the screen back there. He had blockers ready, but <laughs> forgot to catch the ball. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Well, not tall. a lot of potential on that up. call. Takes the catch out to the left, and he's well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Moore made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to That's the markers. The the and as quarter. far as tackles go, this was a pretty good one. He had this one lined up from the get-go. Well, you kids at home, if you're thinking about playing D, pay attention. That's exactly what you want to do. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Browns are out in front, seven to nothing. Kardaki lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Kardaki takes the long snap and punts it away. Morgan fields the deep punt at the 35. Brought down at 31. Quincy Morgan got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Browns were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 41-yard line. Number 22 carries it past scrimmage and Number takes it upfield. Tackled at the Number 48. With the tackle. Number 22 has been taking it inside, taking it out. Second and three. Ball at the Browns. Takes it off the toss and ends up losing about three. Mark Higgins was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. 
Third down, two wideouts on the field. Davis, rope right side, and they get the first on third and long. Andre Davis reels in the catch despite being covered by two defenders. Dan, I guess he just can't be intimidated. Check this out. Oh, yeah, it's all about being focused. He had his eye on the ball the whole time, and he knew where he had to be. And I'll tell you what, he made that precision route look First easy. Too easy, almost. Well, I'll tell you what, Dan, the D couldn't even hang with him. Well, check it out. He's now up over 1,000 yards for the season. Number 13 fires this one First over the middle. Round. Number 13 throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. First and 10. Ball at the 23. Hunted down at the six. It'll be first yeah. and goal. Kellen Winslow Jr. enhances yeah. this catch with a little move. Right there. Love to watch him work. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. First and goal. First down, Ball goal to go. Porter rushes him behind the line at the eight. Joey Porter was a man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Now with that strength, with those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls or wide receivers for that. Pop hard at the one. Number 13, took it himself on that last play, and lucky for him, it worked. That's a great scramble. Well, Dan, both pass and run are viable, but I wonder if we'll see the quarterback sneak here. Number 22 will get the carry on third down and gets the touchdown. Number 22 tries to get as much as he can off this play. Check out his sheer athleticism. Wow, that was some dive. What an effort. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. <laughs> That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. Point. Number three, holding. Here's the extra point, the and extra point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Dawson kicks this one away. Mays fields the kickoff at the 10. Tackled at the 29. Lee Mays got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Steelers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 29-yard line. Kreider goes in motion. It's intercepted! Stopped at the 32. <laughs> Earl Little knew exactly where the ball was going on that last play thanks to some great single zone coverage. His positioning got him the interception. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Browns are now on the field, and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Kendra Bell not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Dan. But if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it was him. Second down, Second three wideouts in the game. Ball at the 32-yard line. 
the fastball over ground. the middle and is well past the marker. Dennis Northcutt has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Pass is going over First the and ten. Ball at the six. Number 13 passes a high long one, and they can't Passes connect. Incomplete. incomplete. Kellen Winslow Jr. went for the mid-range completion on that one, but didn't get it. A rare incompletion. And the defense side a sigh of relief. But it's only the second quarter, Dan. The D has to hang tough. Second down from the shotgun. Interception at the 12. Mike Logan gets the interception, but that really happened because his teammate got in there and tipped it. Oh, it's all about coordinating your defense, man. Playing as a team. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Steelers can climb back into it with a score before half here. They will start this drive at their own 12-yard line. Bettis will take this one off the toss and maybe picks up one on Second the play. Second All down, the and they line up with three line. tight ends. Ben Roethlisberger decided at the last moment to scramble back there, and it worked out. Third and one. Ball at the Steelers, 20-yard line. Roethlisberger throws a lob here, and it's knocked away Pass from the receiver incomplete. Plexico Burris was the intended receiver. Kardaki gets ready to punt this away. Kardaki gets the ball and punts it away. Morgan Fair catches it at the 37. The Browns come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their 38 yard line. Number 22 picked up about seven, and the Browns take their first time out. Second down, both wide outs to the right. It's the sack and the clock. Don't fall in the lose. That's the man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. They also make it easier on the... The Browns will take a time. That's their second. Porter was in man coverage and played it pretty tight. Tight enough for the incompletion. A dicey call there, especially since they didn't make it. They handed over some choice That's field the the position. Yeah, Dan, a punt would have made a heck of a lot more sense to me right here. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Browns enjoying the lead 14 to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Steelers are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. 
Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 34 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Brown midway through the first, the Browns have the ball at the 18. Number 22 would make the first guy miss, then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. An 18-yard touchdown for the Browns. Brown towards the end of the first quarter. Brown's out in front by seven. Kendrell Bell is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Brown's middle of the second. Number 22 found a little opening. That was all he needed. A one yard touchdown for the Browns. Browns winning 14 to nothing. Earl Little is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Browns late in the second quarter, the ball at the 17-yard line. Mike Logan shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Steelers are down at the half, 14 to nothing. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Number 22 has been unstoppable. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Browns get the ball first this half, and yeah, another three. score Picking by them the could Steelers. really open up this game. They currently lead 14 to nothing. Let's get down to the field and the action. Peter, interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their own 21-yard line. Number 22, Number 22 gains five on the, the play, carrier. and that brings Joey up Porter second down. Second and five. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Number 13. It out left side First and down Brown. The catch is made well past. Number 13. Doesn't leave much room for error on this one. It's either a great pass and completion or an interception. Let's take a look. Well, that's a great catch and a great completion. You don't see many quarterbacks thrown into double coverage like that and succeed. That's another pass that went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is. He's daring the D to stop him. Porter hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Number 13 has had difficulties to say the least. And now he's second guessing everything. He Second and ten. Bro, bro, bro. Ball at the ground. Number 13 just rifles this one, and it falls incomplete. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Third down. Winslow, the missile, and they get Brown. the... Kellen Winslow Jr. keeps the party going after making the catch. 
right here. And now he's off for more. Coaches love receivers who believe his job is just starting when he makes the catch. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. First and ten. First down, two tight ends in the game. Number 13. Floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's complete at the 22. First down Finally Brown. stopped at the one. It'll be first and goal. Come on, you guys. We gotta pick this up, man. This is terrible. Quincy Morgan tacks on a bundle after the run here. Watch the replay, folks. The catch and now the run. A multi-tiered play. Yeah, like cake with three tiers of frosting. Oh, that sounds good. Does everything have to be turned into food for you? What a play. A massive pickup and an obvious first down, Peter. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were thinking touchdown on that baby. Winslow grabs the bullet. Touchdown. And... Phil Dawson to attempt the extra point. Number three, Hogan. Now the extra point, the and extra point is good. it's good. Phil Dawson kicking off for the Browns. There's the signal, and we're ready. Dawson booms a beauty here. Staley downs this in the end zone for a touchback. What the Steelers the will what start this first play of the drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 62 Number takes him down Asking back at the 19. Number Beasley had to leave the field yeah. earlier in the game, and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I managed to get a word with the team doctors. They said he's suffering from tendonitis in his knee. They're trying to find a brace that will mitigate the pain, but nothing seems to be working. They're listing his return as doubtful. Guys, back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susan. Pass is incomplete. Holdman tips it away Warwick on the Holdman coverage. The incomplete. Warwick Holdman came in and got a hand on that football. It left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the no, defense. Yard, that will bring up third down. Nice no, pressure yard. that time. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. <laughs> Roethlisberger puts his arm into this one and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. That Earl will bring Little up fourth down. Earl Little came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Chris Gardocki, Gardocki lines up to punt after the three Quincy and out. Morgan to make the return. <laughs> Cardocki gets the sit away. Morgan fair catches it at the 45. The Browns start this one on the center logo at their 46 yard line. Number 22 gets the call on first down and chews up about four on the play. Number 22 has had a great day on the ground. Great movement outs. Liz, Liz, Liz. Second down with the tight end right. Ball the Browns. Number 22 gets the call again and hands wide left. Breaks the tackle. First down, Run down hard at the 29. That will bring up first down. All right, baby. Number 22 averts danger on this one. Watch how he plows through the D. Oh, a big stiff arm on that play. Peter, those were some nifty moves to get free. In that matchup, he doesn't even need to dig down that deep to pull it off. Watch 
first and ten. Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. Five. He's in for the touchdown. Number 13 had no one to throw to, so he just tucked it under and went for it. It's worth another look. If it wasn't for that scramble, he would have been toast. He may not have the carries, but the times he has carried it, good things have happened, like this touchdown. That shows the kind of confidence Bill they put Dawson in him, letting him the take the point. ball in big situations. Number three, holding. Here's the point after, the extra point and is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Dawson booms a beauty here. Staley downs this in the end zone for a touchback. All right, man. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. No, huh? yeah. no touch. The Steelers' offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 20-yard line. Ryder goes in motion. Dennis takes his fourth carry of the game and gains about three yards. Dalen McCutcheon with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the Steelers, 23-yard line. Down! Hey! Set! He throws a bullet to the flat, and the completion is good for six. complete. Dalen McCutcheon with the tackle. Ben Roethlisberger is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all... Third down, both tight ends left. Ball at the Steelers, 29-yard line. McCutcheon makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Chris Gardocki in punt Gardocki lines up for the punt. Quincy Morgan to make the return. Gardocki takes the snap and punts it away. Morgan Fair catches it at the 34. First and ten. The Browns Cleveland. send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 35-yard line. Number 22 takes this one way out left and takes it upfield. Chase down at the 46. First, First down. down. Browns. Number 22 baffles the D on this one with his magic feet. Check it out. It was some juke, Danny. Totally caught the defense off guard. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's quarter. got 101 yards on 16 carries. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Browns in command of this one, 28 to nothing. First down, two receivers to the left. Number 13 makes the throw after the play action fake and he connects at the 20. Finally dropped at the 14. It will be for Quincy Morgan had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. And Peter, that time, neither of those guys really had a height advantage on the other. Yeah, and sometimes when you find yourself locked in a matchup like that, it simply becomes a question of who wants the ball more. Advantage offense there. First and ten. Well, those are some impressive numbers. Look at those receiving yards. Number 22 hauls it in right side. He's looking for room. And 
touchdown. Number 22 shows here why he's so valuable to this offense. Watch what happens after the catch. Boy, what a move, Peter. He left the defense hanging. You can't coach that kind of slipperiness. Another big play, Dawson, and who else would it be? Point. He's been all Number over the three, field today. Over. All over, and all over the end zone. This guy is a scorer. Now the point after, and the extra point is it's good. good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Dawson kicks it off. Mays catches it back at the nine. Breaks the tackle. Tackled at the 30. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, punting is not going to win you a game. Although it looks like they are trying to do that, they need to put a drive together and get into the end zone. Steelers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 30-yard line. Lockers pumps it out left and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Randall L catches this one and that's a gain of seven on the play. Second down, one man back. Roethlis out left side and the reception's made at the 40. Bentley makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Kevin Bentley managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Roethlisberger fires this one over the Passes middle and incomplete. it is not reeled Flexible in, risk. incomplete. Receiver. Moore completely Number breaks 56. up the With pass. The you know, he owned that zone so clearly, yeah, I bet he comes in on his days Third off to repair 10. the turf. On Ball second the down, down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Pass is incomplete. Moore tips it away Number on the coverage. Incomplete. The Fourth down coming up. Moore came in and got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception there. You know, Let's as a team, well, they are batting down passes no, left and right. <laughs> that is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Yeah! Roethlisberg just rifles this one and... It's caught short of the markers. They will forfeit the ball on down. A little is here to play, I tell you. What a stop on fourth down. It's worth another look. Oh, huge tackle, huge play. They don't get the fourth down conversion they needed, Peter, although I don't think they should have punted it away. No, that far behind, they are definitely in go for broke mode. Unfortunately, they got broke. The Browns, offense takes the field, they're in command, and they're probably look to take the time off the clock. They will start at their 32-yard line. Number 22 picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Number 22, stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not much there, it'll be second down. Gotta think what you can get, Dan, but they were hoping for more. Number 22, takes it off the toss and will lose about a yard here. Mark Higgins was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Porter makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Number three lines up to punt after the three and out. Number three takes the snap and punts it away. Townsend takes it at the 30. Brought down at the 39. 
Shea Townsend racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Steelers offense comes out and they are way down late in the game. They'll need some magic as they start this drive at their 39 yard line. Doring catches it over the middle and Chris Doring, pass complete. Anthony Henry with the tackle. Rip, rip. Roethlisberger throws a high, long one to the right and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. And Down he's in ground. for the touchdown. Come on, give it up, baby. Number 34 picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then so, so far, he's got two interceptions. To attempt the extra point. Number three, holding. Now the extra point, and the extra point is it's good. good. set. Dawson rockets this one deep. Reimersma decides to take it out of the end zone. Stopped at the 26. Jay Reimersma got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Steelers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 26-yard line. Mays catches it in the flat, and that's good for a gain of five. Number 24 with the push out of bounds. Second and four. Randy, Ball Randy. at the Steelers, 31-yard line. Gun, gun. Gun, gun. <laughs> Roethlisberger uncorks this to the left sideline, and incomplete. it's off. Incomplete. Flaxico Burris, Burris ran a post pattern on that last Number play, but he couldn't make the catch. The another ball comes his way, and another incompletion. To come up blank so many times in a row, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Mays catches it in the flat, and he will be short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Wiley brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. The defense didn't budge on that play, and they force a fourth down. Roethlisberger airs this into the left sideline and it falls Passes incomplete. incomplete. They will turn the ball over Number on down. Was the intended receiver? Oh. Dalen McCutcheon with the cover. Hey, if you check out this replay, you'll find a few examples of how these guys earn their paycheck week in and week out, baby. And hey, there's no better way of earning a paycheck than knocking a few heads down there on the field. The Browns' the offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at the 31-yard line. Wins the first round. 
The Steelers the take their first time out. First down, First the clock is stopped at 1.49. Down! <laughs> Number 13 throws a beauty to the right side, and That's it's incomplete. bobbled and dropped incomplete. Andre Davis looked like he had a solid Number catch there, and yet somehow he found a way to drop it. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop Second does hurt, ten. you can't throw too much All blame on him for that. That would have been a tough catch. Second down, 10 yards to go. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Andre Davis looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's his second drop, and he cannot be happy with that. Sometimes the ball bounces your way, and sometimes it, uh, it doesn't. Exactly. Dodges this one away. The Steelers will take a timeout. That's their second. Let's put out that fire, T. Put it up. This one falls. In Pass is incomplete. Chad Scott sticks to his Number man 22. all the First way. Look receiver. at that coverage. Number 30. That pass doesn't have a prayer of getting where it's going. Man to man can be so effective when the DB can read the play that well. They didn't convert on the fourth down and will turn it over. Peter, I, I'm not sure why they even went for it at this stage in the game. They, they obviously have it wrapped up. Oh, yeah. Greedy call and they paid for it. The Steelers will start this drive deep in their own territory the with the incomplete. clock at yeah, 131. Right. Roethlisberger unloads this one to the left, That's and it's tipped. Doing. Incomplete. Earl Little came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's his third Second batted ten. ball, and he is ball doing his part, that is for line. sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Second down, three wideouts in the game. No good, Passes incomplete. You ain't getting nothing past With me. the deflection. Nothing past me. Nope, nothing. Third down. Third the clock is stopped at 121. The Steelers, 14 yard line. Roethlisberger throws a bullet here, and Passes it's incomplete. bobbled and dropped incomplete. Fourth down coming receiver. up. Jeremy Toomer muffed an almost guaranteed coverage. catch there, and as a receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial Passes down, Dan, and when you don't... Dalen McCutcheon with the deflection. Dalen McCutcheon cuts in there and gets himself in a perfect spot. Absolutely, Peter. He's able to keep the receiver from getting near it. Well, the closer you play, the better your shot is at breaking up the completion. Well, they don't convert on fourth down, and that will be it for them. They chalk this one up in the L column, Dan. It's all over. Touchdown Number 13 Brown. throws a beauty to the right side, and it's cut for the score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, sorry. Right. Please, that man. I gotta get my head right. I gotta get my head right. Number 13 makes a risky pass here and completes it. That took guts, Dan. Check it out. Oh, perfect pass. And it had to be accurate to get in there between the two defenders. That's his third TD reception, and obviously the passes are coming Bill his way. Yeah, all point. big passes, too. Number what a three, game. Holding. Now the point after, and the point is it's good. good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Dawson kicks this one away. Mays fields the kickoff at the three. Spins. Brought down at the 25. Lee Mays got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The 
Steelers start this drive of the game from well in their own territory. And the clock at, at 105. Intercepted. Tackled at the eight. It'll be first and goal. Moore has a monster play for the D. He picks off the ball here and then takes it downfield for a huge gain. Man, you cannot coach that. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. Down! Browns, <laughs> offense is on the field, and they can wrap up the game. They'll start at the eight. The Steelers take a timeout. That's their final one. Second, and goal. Second down, goal to go. Two yard line. Down. Ground or air threat here. Let's see what they do, Dan. Number 22 picks up about two, and the clock will continue to run. Time to make a stand. Let's make a stand. Number 22, the ball carrier. Kendrell Bell with the tackle. Half the distance to the goal. Repeat fourth Number down. Number 69 made contact on that one when he shouldn't have. That drew the penalty for encroachment. Fourth down. Down! Number 22 gets the call on fourth down and gets in for the score. Number 22 makes an incredible play here. Watch how he pulls out some extra yards. Oh, that's presence of mind. To make a dive like that, and that's why coaches love him. He always goes the extra mile. Peter, while he's used to being in the end zone, this is a great day even for him. I love it. What a player. Here's the extra point, and the extra point is it's good. good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Dawson booms a beauty here. Mays decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 24. Lee Mays took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. No the Steelers yard, start this deal. drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock Jets. at three. <laughs> it's intercepted. <laughs> Drag down at the 38. Number 34 benefits from a huge error on the receiver's part. The ball gets dropped. And he's there to scoop it up. But I don't think he's going to give it back. <laughs> Another interception for his stats today. And I, I'll tell you, I can't remember That's when I've seen a defensive performance like this. This guy's rewriting history. And that is going to do it for this one. The Browns come out on top 56 to nothing. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Yeah, that's right, fellas. That's right, fellas. We got it. All right, gang. Great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Browns stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Quincy Morgan came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 45-yard play that set up a Browns touchdown. The Browns have opened it up and now lead by 21. This time at the 30, number 13 would get the carry here 
Good blocking up front, it helped us bring him. A 29-yard touchdown for the Browns. Browns ahead by 28. Number 13 is back to throw, and look at the finesse he puts on this one. Nice. They've opened it up now and lead by 35. Ben Roethlisberger would find his target on this one. Steelers losing 35 to nothing. Number 34 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Touchdown for the Browns. The Browns move ahead big and now lead by 42. The Browns have it after a turnover on downs. Ball at the 32. Kellen Winslow ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. The Browns after his stop on fourth down. Browns up by 42. Number 13 connected with his man on this one. They're now up by 49. The Steelers on defense, number 56, was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Steelers back, 49 to nothing. Number 22 got the carry here, and he was able to break through. Touchdown for the Browns. The Browns move ahead by a bunch. Number 34 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. And that's where we'll leave this one. Brown serve up a shutout, 56 to nothing. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Number 22 is on the field with our Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You really hustled today, and you prevailed with a big victory. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? You know what it was? We just stuck to our game plan and got the work done today, you know? Our coaches did a great job today getting us ready for this game, and I think their scouting gave us the edge in the end. Back to you, Chris. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.